Hey guys, what is up? It's Ryan here. How are you all doing? I hope you're having a fantastic day. And today, I'm going to be teaching all of you how you can color grade like a pro in less than 15 seconds. That's it. Color grading is an art form and it takes a very long time and is very hard to master. It is especially hard because color is very subjective. Everyone likes different colors, everyone likes different color palettes, everyone has a different aesthetic that they like and that makes it very hard to color grade well because everyone's gonna see that differently. Now I do want to differentiate color grading versus color correction, which a lot of people get confused on. Color correction is just making sure the contrast and the saturation and the exposure is right in a clip. Just making sure everything looks as real as possible and everything looks correct. Color grading on the other hand though is changing the color, exposure and saturation of an image to a certain style. Lately what's been very popular are LUTs and what LUTs are are color presets that you put on your footage and it automatically changes all the colors to a certain style. I've done a lot of research and a lot of experimentation to find what the best LUTs are and for my research and my personal preference the best LUTs I've found out there are the Lutify.me professional LUT package. The Lutify.me professional LUT package has over 200 LUTs in all different styles. You have teal and orange LUTs, you have vintage LUTs, you have LUTs that are inspired by big Hollywood movies. It's really a great and I've tested every single one of over 200 LUTs and I haven't found one LUT that I haven't liked. The Lutify.me package costs about $60 and actually I've teamed up with Lutify um, and if you use the code Orion Eschel at checkout you'll get 10% off and also I'll get a little part of the commission of the sale. So if you do end up buying it, thank you. Also, I want to say that this video isn't sponsored at all by Lutify on me. They did give me the LUTs for free and they did give me that coupon code which I will get a certain percentage of the sale, but they haven't told me to say anything. This is completely my opinion. If they would suck, I'll tell you they suck. If they're great, I'll tell you they're amazing. All right, with that being said, let's hop onto the computer and get, get started. started. All right, so we got the computer here. We got the clips that we're going to be grading. There we go. And now just set this camera up here on the tripod and get going. All right, so now I'm just gonna show you guys how to apply LUTs and um, how to customize them to be your own as well. Because LUTs, you can just put them on the clip and just be done and it'll look good. Um, if you're in a rush, that's usually how I do it too. But if you wanna get the best possible results out of the LUTs, you gotta customize them to each clip because each clip obviously has different colors and different lighting and everything is different no two clips are the same I've been using these LUTs since like September so the LUTs that I'm going to be using for these clips are um, some of my favorite LUTs to use as well I'm going to be showing you how to do this on Adobe Premiere Pro but you can do this on any software that supports LUTs um, each software will be a little bit different but the process will be pretty much the same maybe it will be somewhere different in the app but um any app that supports LUTs you can use these on all right so I got my clips here just some clips that I picked from some of my latest shoots I'm gonna start with this one which was shot in log profile I have a few different clips here some are shot in log profiles which are super flat and don't have a lot of color some are shot in rec 709 so um, that's like normal colors you can see that's how you would see it and I'm gonna show you how to grade both kinds of clips depending what you like to shoot. The best way to shoot is flat because that way you preserve the most dynamic range and also you can manipulate the colors more because, because all of the colors aren't baked in. It's like, co it's like cooking a dish. If you put all the salt and the pepper and the spices in before, it has to be salty. You can't change it later. Maybe you can add a little bit more sweet to counter that but you're still gonna feel that salt. Whereas if you don't put any um, kind of dressing on it um, on a salad let's say then afterwards you can put the dressing you can customize it to be however you want and then you're not forced to eat it that one way so it's the same thing if you shoot in a flat profile you can do a lot more to it in post whereas if you shoot in a rec 709 or like in normal colors you are kind of stuck with the colors you can manipulate them a little bit but um, you don't have as much lead way um, to manipulate them Anyway, we're gonna start with this clip here, which was shot in a log profile. 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the color tab in Adobe Premiere Pro and here I have Lumetri Color. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the Creative tab here. I like to use the Creative tab to use LUTs because um, here if you go into Look you can then dial down the intensity because some LUTs may look good at 100%, some LUTs may look good at 50%, some at 20% just depends. So I always recommend using the Creative tab so you can adjust how intense the LUT is. So now um, once we bought the LUTs and we obviously have them installed in the computer, we're going to go into here into Look. We're going to go into Browse. Now I have my, the LUTs um, in a folder. It's called Filmmaking. I'm going to go into LUTs. I have a few different kinds of LUTs here that I like to use. Um, I'm going to go into Lutify.me. Then I have the Professional LUT Package right here. I'm going to go into 3D LUTs. Now here you have a few options. You have Utility LUTs. Then you have the standard Rec. 709 LUTs, which is for using on normal colors. So if you shot it with normal colors, this, the LUTs that you would use is this folder and if you shot it in log or flat profile you would use the generic log LUTs. I sh this clip specifically as you can see it's very flat so I'm going to use the generic log LUTs. For this clip I'm going to use a cinematic base grade I think that will look cool and I'm going to choose the door LUT which is one of my favorites so I go here I have the CBG door which means cinematic base grade and then the LUT number is door you can see it's the dot cube file which is the file um, type for LUTs, I press open and bam, look, I already, it's that easy, I just choose it in the menu, um, choose the LUT I like, and you can see it already looks really great. For this one specifically, I think this LUT actually looks so good on it that I don't need to do any other adjusting to it. Some clips, they may be too bright or too dark, so you need to adjust it after you put the LUT, but I think this one just fits it perfectly, I don't even need to correct it anymore, and I think we can just move on to the next one. Alright, now we're going to go to the next clip, which is the sunset clip I got a little while ago. It's really awesome. And I think for this uh, shot, an instant film grade is going to look cool. So I'm going to go back to the creative tab. I'm going to go to browse. And this was shot in a very flat profile, as you can see. So I'm going to the generic log, generic log folder. Um, I'm going to choose instant films. And my favorite instant film is Gady or Gieri. Not sure how to pronounce that, but I'm going to choose that. I'm going to click open and boom. That's right on there, and you can see it looks really great. Now, this clip, I think I can adjust it a little bit. Now, what I like to use when I'm color correcting and uh, adjusting it to make it look the best is Lumetri Scope. So, if you go here, um, right next to Effect Control, I have Lumetri Scopes, and this just shows me the exposure value of the whole clip. So, as you can so to have the perfect exposure, you want your uh, highlights touching barely 100 and you want your shadows almost touching uh, zero you don't want it any more than 100 or any less than zero so I want this clip to be a little more contrasty so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into color wheels here and I'm gonna take my shadows and bring them down as you can see now they're barely touching 20 I want to bring them down almost to zero so I'm just gonna drag this down until they come down and you can see they're almost at zero I like it there now you can see my highlights came down as well. Now they're almost barely touching 90, so I want to bring them up closer to 100. I'm going to take my highlight slider here, and I'm going to bring it up to 100. And I think that looks a lot better. Now this clip is a little bit too warm for me. I want to cool it off a little bit, so I'm going to take the temperature slider, and I'm just going to cool it down just the tiniest bit. And I think I'm going to bring down the saturation just a bit too. And as you can see, um, this is what we started with, and this is what we have now. As you can see, just a few tiny corrections can just make such a huge difference and just change the whole ambience of the clip. It's really amazing. All right, now our next clip, this is a clip that was shot in the Rec. 709 color space, or kind of in normal colors. Um, this is what you would see in real life. Um, so for this one, we obviously can't use the log LUTs. Just to show you what would happen if I applied a log LUT onto this. Um, let's apply the same lot we just applied. You can see that's way too much. That's because the clips that this is meant for are super flat and this is shot in normal color. So if you try and apply the log lots, this doesn't look very good. So I'm going to go back to the um, screen here to the beginning of the lot of me professional lot package. I'm going to click on 3D lots again. Now I'm going to click this time on standard Rec. 709 lots. And I think for this clip, what's going to look good is a teal and orange grade. So I'm going to go into the teal and orange pack here and I really like 
the Lut Mimosa. All of these teal and orange Luts are really good, but I especially like Mimosa. Oh, there's this mosquito here. Um, I especially like Mimosa, so I'm going to open it. And this looks really good. The exposure looks good. I don't think it needs much correction. If we go here to the Metri Scopes, you can see it's almost touching 100, and it's just touching zero, so it's the perfect exposure. But as you can see, it's not going over 100 or over zero, so it's not overexposing or underexposing. That means it's either too dark or too bright. As you can see, because this clip wasn't shot in flat profile, there wasn't as much change um, compared to the other one. The colors don't adjust as much. That's because all the colors are already baked in and you just can't adjust as much. They're already there. All the information is there. Instead of, of when you shoot flat, you just add all the information. You can do whatever you want. But still, this looks really good. I really like this grade. This clip right here is a clip I shot in Sinai. I really love the colors in the clip just straight out but I still want to kind of give it a look so I think what will look good on this is a teal and orange lot because we have the blue ocean here and then you have like the orange ground I think it will complement the teal and orange lot I'm gonna go to standard because this was also shot in normal colors I'm gonna go to teal and orange and I really love this macro slot it's kind of this faded teal and orange look it just looks really good on anything desert or anything that's orange I love this slot I'm gonna click open and as you can see that looks really good um, I think for me it's a little bit intense I think it's a little bit too much teal um, in the background so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of bring the intensity down here to maybe 65 80 I think looks good right there um, now I'm gonna do a little bit of correction just to kind of make it so I get the most out of it I'm gonna bring the shadows down a little bit a little closer to zero that looks good and I'm gonna bring the highlights up that looks good to me and I think I'm going to desaturate it just a tiny bit. And that looks awesome. Alright, just press on and off. And that's it. As you can see, color grading really isn't that hard. A lot of people are intimidated by it. But it's really easy. You just kind of got to have a good eye for color and what looks good and what people like. Um, and you'll be able to do it really easily. It's really fun. I love it. And um, yeah, I hope you guys learned something out of this. Also, I hope you guys enjoyed a little uh, sneak peek look into how I color grade. A lot of you guys have been asking me lately how I've been making videos, the gear that I'm using. So I want to make some tutorials for you guys. So I want to make some tutorials for you guys. I made a few tutorials like in the beginning of this channel, but I feel like, I felt like not a lot of people like it. But I actually really like making them. And I like sharing all the information that I have. So um, let me know if you guys like it. But I think I'm still gonna keep doing them just because. I like it and I like just sharing uh, what I'm doing and how I'm doing it. So yeah, I hope you guys learned something out of this. If you guys like the LUTs you saw, um, you can consider going to the LUTfy.me website. I'm going to put the link in the description and um, up here. Um, go check it out and if you like them, they actually have like, I think, four LUTs that you can test. And if you like them, then you can buy um, the rest I think it's about sixty dollars for the first year and then after that the second every year after it's like twenty dollars and they keep adding um, new LUTs about every month so they're always updating and always adding new stuff which is really cool some LUT packs that you buy are there just give you the LUTs and that's it forever but these just keep on updating and they kind of stay modern so maybe like the movie inspired looks they keep adding movies that are new um, and yeah it's really cool it's really awesome LUTs um, and I really like them. If you do end up buying them, thank you because you're helping support me and this channel. You're helping me make more awesome videos for you guys. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will be seeing you at the next video. Bye.